Yes, I want to provide the number one to number one. Okay. Yes. So all we get data from a database. We just change or we just update in the database. It will appear to our template. Hello guys, welcome back to John Coder. Today we talk about how to create dynamic menu in the Laravel. Okay, and let's start. I have create a new template already using admin LTE. Okay, and th this menu right now it using HTML only. So I want to change this menu, get data from a database. Okay, let's start. Let me explain you step by step. Actually, this template it get from our view and from it get from app template here. And in this app, it include a file name is menu. Mean I need to separate the file. It easy to find, right? It easy to find. It easy to custom. So what we need to change? We need to change only this file in this file it is a left menu so let me test menu testing okay or oh, refresh here yes it will appear into here so what we do right now we need to get data from a database so need to create a new model let me create a new model php or t model okay i put a name is Data model, okay, and I get to and I open my controllers, okay. I have controllers home here, okay. That we we already using in here, and the controller will be get data from some model. So I need to custom my model in here. So I need to get data from a database. So I need to use DB, okay, and I need to create a new function. If function, yes, the name I put get a menu. Okay. And in this, I need to get a data. I need to create a new variable. I put the name is the menu and db dots slash like this. And I need to provide my actual query from this one and pass it in here. Okay, provide value here is zero and close it. After I get a menu data, I need to return. Okay, I need to return that is all is menu name and data. It's menu. Okay, so right now we have a function in model, we get data, and then we need to call this model using in this controller. So I need to use a pp model, and then model name. Okay, and I can declare a new model in here. Menu was a new model name. Okay. And I can get um, less menu equals menu dot what is my function name is get menus here. And then get menus. Yes. Okay. After that, we can test it have data or not. Yes, we can get in here. And then we can go to refresh here. Yes, we get a data from here. So we need to provide the data when we are get view. We can provide data like this. Okay. And then refresh again. Right now, we can get data from model. And model get data from a database with condition like this. So our view also get a data in here, but we not yet print out. Yes, we not yet print out. 
we not just show in our menu here. So we need to create a loop in our menu in here. Okay. So let's start. I will use I will use for each. Okay. Like this. And let me copy into here. Okay, delete this one. And what I need to loop, it loop from the name from here. Okay, menu here and item dot value. Okay. So I need to print this value into this one. Because right now we need to prepare the main menu, not yet talk about the sub menu in here. Okay. So I need to appear menu name in here, double bracket and the value dot menus name like this. Okay, and then refresh. Yes, you see it's it will appear in here, but it a lot. Yeah. When you open for open, I need to delete and active here. I also no need. Here's I no need right now, but I will prepare the next. Yes, it's done now. My so mean now I was the best, and our menu is appear in here. And what I really want is I want to have a sub menu in here. Also appears by the menu in here. Okay, so let to get data from a menu I have prepared the sub so one more okay and let me check here oh it have only one in here okay let's do test so I need to get a new sub menus I put the name is sub here and here is sub menu Okay, and I need to provide condition in here. Sorry, it's wrong. Here. I need to provide condition in here. I need to write in here is where's sub inactive equal like this, and then we change to here. So right now we have a new data menu and sub menu. Okay. So what we need to check in here, we need to if, okay, and then for each inside, we need to create a new loop in here, okay, and let it in size, and for each, okay, and get the name here, sub menu here. And key sub okay and call this one I move this into here but I need to have condition I need to have condition if yes dot id if the menu id in here equal menu inside here need to prepare in here okay so this one i need only one and so need to create if value dot menus underscore id equals sub sorry equals sub dot menus ID and if okay so if a core I need to provide an item in here so let to refresh okay so the first one we have and there is done here why because get from a database I have only one form in here okay and let me correct sub name in here so I need to provide in here to this one double red I need to provide sub I need to provide sub name here 
it get from a real from the database in here okay and refresh yes I get create a menu in here and if I want to have in this menu I need to provide from a data I need to add a new row okay let me add a new row it's price 2 and 2 is what is the main menu POS okay I need to POS this menu throws or this number 1 and POS POS okay and then save and then if I refresh here it should be appear the item in here okay and I also can test uh, one more I can create new is as so three three and I can create super user and create users to create users and then save when I create like this, when I refresh, it should be appear in here to menu. Okay, sorry, it's wrong this one. Yes, I want to provide the number one to number one. Okay. Yes. So all we get data from a database. We just change or we just update in the database. It will appear to our template. Okay. And other condition like at um active or something we let to talk the next video okay thank you for watching